Hello everyone, my name is Jamie. Welcome to Border Bananas and to my 46th Fun Finds Friday. I'm going to start with Target's Hearth and Hand Collection. The very first item that I purchased was the 2019 ornament. It was $4.99 and it just looks like this. It is so pretty. Um, I bought the bell one year and I just loved the bell. However, I can't, I think it might have been 2017. Um, I don't think it was last year. I don't think I got one last year. Now I'm kind of bummed because I, I really like these pewter looking vintage style bells or ornaments, I should say. Very cute. I really just really love pewter. Then I ordered two sets of these green napkins. You guys, these are substantial. They are nice and thick. I love the rough edges on them. They're gorgeous. They were um, $9.99 for a set of four, and I did order two of these to set my table with for Christmas this year. Then I was thinking about my hutch. I love to decorate my hutch seasonally. It's my favorite thing to decorate in the house. Um, and I don't have any Christmas greenery that will fit on the shelves. My trees are usually all a little bit too tall. So I ordered three of these guys and they were $4.99 a piece. And they, I just think they are so cute. Love it. Um, it just looks like this. At first I thought maybe the bell or the bow um, was untied, but they're all like that. So that's the way it's supposed to be. And I think it's kind of cute. It gives it a little bit of a quirk. But do it there. They just look like that. Love those guys. And I did order three of these guys. That's all I ordered from Target. Next was Amazon. I've been telling you guys how I broke a bunch of my dishes, my glasses, because um, the shelf pin broke that was holding up the shelf in my cabinet. Um, apparently my glasses are heavy and my mugs. So um, a subscriber told me about the shelf pins, um, the little metal shelf brackets, and they just look like this. So I ordered a box of 50 of these. So this part goes in the hole of the shelf here and then your shelf just sits on this. And then if you want, you can screw the shelf into through the bottom because there's a hole there as well. However, <clears throat> the little hole on this is too big or the little pin on this is too big, which is a good thing because the reason why my shelf pin broke is because it over time, the hole in there has worn down and it's just like drooped on the bottom. So they also supply you with the correct size drill bit. So I can just kind of stick this in the hole and um, you know tape it off so I have a visual stop of how deep to go with my drill and um, just make the hole slightly bigger to where I need it to get all these little pins in there. I'm really excited about those. So thank you to my subscriber who um, mentioned those because these were I believe like $8 maybe $9 for 50 pieces. And I thought that was a great buy. And don't worry, I will have all this stuff linked down below in the description box for you. Then I was on the Pottery Barn website perusing, looking for Christmas inspiration because I just love Pottery Barn, and but I don't love their price tag. So I found a set of three, well, they, they you can get the set of three Harmony Bells and they ranged in price so they're, priced individually from $19.99 up to like $49.99 or something crazy like that. Uh, so I decided to go on Amazon to see if I could find them on Amazon and I found them. Um, they aren't exactly the same, but they're pretty darn close and they just look like this. And I will have these linked down below in the description box for you as well. They aren't brass. They look like brass. I believe them to be tin or aluminum. The clappers inside, I learned that you guys are just called, they're the inside little thing of a bell is called a clapper. I just learned that they are wood. So they're not like a real, they're, that's what they sound like. <laughs> they have a real old timey sound. They're not like a brass bell. That's not what you're going to find these for. But aren't they gorgeous? Oh, look at that. 
I cannot wait to use these. I have so many ideas of where I want to put these things. I just love it. So gorgeous. Cannot wait to use them. Okay. Now I'm on to Goodwill. And I did get a few articles of clothing. I actually have two of these on my Christmas list, so I'm going to take them off my Christmas list because I found them just about, one is new with tags, one isn't. So this is a black sweater, turtleneck, by the brand uh, Worthington, and it is gorgeous. It's just, it's going to come off, you're not going to be able to see it very well because it is, you know, just a black turtleneck and it fits so nicely. It's so soft and I cannot wait to wear this. Taking this off my Christmas list because I believe I have one from Gap on my Christmas list. Then I found a Pierre Cardin turtleneck as well and this is like in that cool, taupey, mushroomy brown. And this one is in a size large, and I love it. <gasps> so cozy. Um, so I am good for turtlenecks now with these two. It's pr I can't believe I found two turtlenecks in the colors I was looking for today. That was really exciting. And then I also found something else that I'm really excited about. It is a Lauren by Ralph Lauren quilted diamond quilted puffer vest <laughs> you guys check it out oh check out the detail in the pockets and in the back buttons here i love that vintage brass look and the detail here and even in the tag and the zipper is the vintage brass as well i love this thing fits like a dream it's a little bit of a shorter puffer vest which kind of so it kind of comes to my waist a little bit, which is perfect because it helps accentuate my waist. Excited about that. So I found two t-shirts for my son, Michael. I have a hard time finding him clothes at Goodwill, but I was really excited today because I found what looks like that vintage looking um, brown pocket t-shirt, um, just simple brown pocket t-shirt. So. And he actually really likes it, so that's a score. And this was $3.99, so I paid $3 for it. Everything you've seen that I got at Goodwill, I got 25% off my veteran's discount today. Um, I am recording this video on Wednesday, the day of my Goodwill thrifting, because on Friday I will be in sinus surgery, which is technically the Friday after this video is re being recorded, because <laughs> I'm a week ahead. Um, but... So if you've seen me since then, you know I'm fine. <laughs> but I'm just having some polyps removed from my nose. It's not a big, scary surgery. It's scary enough. All surgery is scary enough. I mean, they're really close to my brain. So <laughs> Which, it, it, you know, there is some things, you know, to be concerned about there. But this shirt I got my son because it reminded me of my husband. When my husband was in the Army, his battalion had something to do with the Ace of Spades. I can't remember. He's probably going to kill me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, he's, I, I just can't believe I can't remember what the Ace of Spades was stood for. I cannot remember. But I found this. It's in army green, has the Ace of Spades, and the skull and crossbones on it. And I thought that was just Perfect for my son, Michael. My husband's going to love it. It's a small. My husband wears an extra large. It'll never fit him, <laughs> but he's going to like it just as much as my son. Okay, that's it for clothing for home decor. On to the... Did I just say clothing decor? What did I just say? I don't know. That's it for clothing at Goodwill. Now let's move on to home decor. <laughs> okay, so... To make a long story short, I had to get rid of all of my Christmas greenery. All of it. I'm going to spare you the details because it's gross. <laughs> but it has something to do with my daughter's kitten, if that tells you anything. <laughs> um, so I was mortified when I went to look through it. But I found two of these guys today at Goodwill. And I love how wiry and thin these branches are. Got my hooks, my... Um, 
scarf hooked onto it. It needs fluffing for sure, as always with these kinds of trees. But I thought it, I love the sparse of the inside and the, it actually looks like a tree trunk in there, which is really great. And there were two of them, so I grabbed them both. Now these guys are quite a bit bigger and will never fit on my hutch compared to these guys, see? Ah, but yeah, these were $3.99, so I paid $3 a piece for them, and I didn't think that was bad because these are gorgeous, and I am excited to have them. Four items left, and this one is the most simplistic. I don't actually own one of these, and I believe it went to a cheese board, and it's just a glass cloche. It was a $1.99 blue tag. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but it is just absolutely disgusting, and I cannot wait to clean it up, but I thought this would be perfect for a vignette, or even to put on my Christmas table. Um, to keep the dog and the cats out of the food because Odin um, has not learned that he is not supposed to take food off the table yet. He is just a puppy, but puppies are, you know, usually small and cute. He is a 75 pound puppy who can walk on the table. You know, he could just jump onto the table and walk across it if he wants to. <laughs> he has never done that. He is not a bad boy, but he will go up there and sniff at the table. So just to be safe, I bought a cloche. Um, and then I found this guy. I think this is pewter. It does not feel like silver, but it looks like this, you guys. Oh, can you see that? Oh my goodness, I love it. Um, yeah, so I got a pewter pitcher to add to my collection because I think this is gorgeous. How beautiful is this gonna be at Christmas time? I love it. And it was $1.99, so I paid $1.50 for it. Then I found this Homer Laughlin little plate. It was $1.99, so I paid $1.50 for it as well. And I thought it was just so simple and beautiful. I could put some, a stick of butter on there and a small little spreading knife, and we could have you know a little dish at each end of the table for our butter dishes for Christmas Day. But I got it to the cash register, and my favorite... Goodwill employee Maria told me, she said, I almost put this right in the bins because I thought it was ugly and didn't think anybody would buy it. <laughs> I said, Maria, that's Homer Laughlin. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, you know, to each their own. One person's trash is definitely another person's treasure. Her loss might win, right? <laughs> so I love this thing, and it was $1.50, so I could use this for so many little things. Then, last but not least, I found this silver little basket. Now, my intention for this basket is to put a napkin in there, line it with a napkin, like so, and put my dinner rolls in it for Christmas Day. Isn't that, won't that be pretty? I think it'll be so pretty, just heaped up with some dinner rolls um, after a good scrubbing. This was $3.99, so I paid $3 for it, and it is stamped for about, let's see, it says FB something on the bottom. I, the tag is, of course, covering the sticker. So I don't know if I said it, but it was $3.99, so I paid $3 for it. And it came attached <laughs> with some, I don't know if you can see those, um, safety pins. <laughs> so, score? <laughs> but I cannot wait. I've got Christmas on the brain. I'm so excited to start decorating. Ever since I went through my bins, I'm so excited to start decorating for Christmas. And I was very disappointed to see that I no longer had any workable greens, but they're easy enough to replace. I actually um, saw my friend Kelly, House of Aqua, recently hauled some cypress greens um, from Joann's that I'm really coveting, but I don't know when I'd be able to get to Joann's. So I don't know, but can I go Friday after surgery? <laughs> I'm pushing it, aren't I? 
<laughs> that's it for me today you guys if you like this in the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and tell me what was your favorite find of mine this week or your favorite find of yours this week I would love to know your treasures what are your treasures um, and don't also don't forget to check me out over on Instagram where I do all my thrift with me's live in my insta stories I'll check you later guys bye you guys I almost forgot to show you the vintage goodness of ornaments that I found at Goodwill today they were 99 cents per box and there are six boxes of them here and they are just these beautiful vintage glass ornaments originally sold from Target look at that old Target sticker there they're Christmas by crabs and I looked them up online and they go from anywhere they sell anywhere from $15 to $25 so that was a great score. I had to grab those for sure.